morning guys um and welcome back to another vlog it's vlogmas part four i think yeah it's vlogmas part four i'm gonna be in the city today so i'm just putting on some makeup and um speaking of which actually i think i have found or should i say rediscovered my perfect no makeup makeup base i feel like i am constantly searching for something that will literally just replicate my skin, you know, not look like a tinted moisturiser, not look like something lightweight, but just looks like my skin. And it's harder to find than you would think. I've got the Chanel Le Beige Eau de Ton Water Fresh Tint here. I've had this for a while and I was kind of rooting around um, in my makeup the other day. I thought I would pull it out again and give it a go. And it's such a weird <laughs> texture. It's like basically a gel with little spheres in it. But as you rub it in, and like, I really think you have to like rub this in with your hands, that you have to really get in there. But as you do it, you kind of get this like, I wouldn't say it's coverage, but it just evens out your skin. It's really, really cool. Um, this one's actually a little bit light for me. So I think while I'm in town today, I will try and stop by a Chanel and pick up one that is a bit more my shade. I think I need to go up one shade or maybe two. It's always fun when you rediscover something that you forgotten about burying in a drawer. I might try and head to the Chanel and Covent Garden because while I'm there I can pop my head into hopefully if there's not too big of a queue because I've seen queues um, but I can have a little sneak peek at the new Glossier store oh, doorbell. Uh, yeah I can go check out the new Glossier store which from what I've seen looks very very beautiful um, and I also I'm kind of needing to pick up a new concealer as well so that works out very nicely. Still just as obsessed with this concealer. Um, nothing ever seems to compare to it. I actually didn't vlog yesterday. Was it yesterday? The last week has been a bit of a blur, but I didn't vlog yesterday because I, um, well, I was kind of running on about two hours sleep and I didn't think it was gonna work out too well. Um, I kind of forgot, or, or not forgot, but I think I'm just out of practice with my editing. Um, I think I talked about this a little bit in the last vlog, but it took me ages to edit the first video together. I think I've gotten into a bit more of a groove now, but I did stay up way, way too late um, editing the other night, and that kind of just sonked me out for the day. I was absolutely gone, so it was a bit, a bit of a write-off uh, of a day, unfortunately. But I did manage to get some house bits done, which I have been neglecting severely. Um, so that was good. So feeling good about that. If there is a meme or some kind of Twitter post or Instagram post that I see every so often and it's, uh, it basically says, how am I supposed to hold down a career, a job, a social life, a partner, keep my house tidy, um, exercise, work out, sleep for eight hours, get my two litres of water a day, eat vegetables, all of that, when there's only 24 hours in the day and I could not I can't relate to that more. I feel like that is my constant struggle. <laughs> there are not enough hours in the day. And yes, you do have as many hours in the day as Beyonce, but Beyonce has an entire team running her life for her. Beyonce hasn't got to do too much for herself. So yeah, I kind of, I feel like I've gotten into a bit of a groove now. I've been waking up a little bit earlier and um, editing in the morning. So today's vlog is already edited and uploaded. I think that's gonna be the way things are gonna have to go on now for the next, how many days have we got left? 10 days? So that is good, I am happy with that. Uh, what else, what else am I doing today? Hopefully as I'm in the city, I can meet Joe uh, once he's done working. And uh, I really wanna actually go to the food market on the South Bank. It's, uh, it's not the regular food market, it's their Christmas market, which they kind of put out for the last couple of months of the year and we were there recently and I walked past it and it wasn't open and I was gutted, I'm always gutted when I miss out on good food. Um, so yeah, if we can and if we have time, look at me venturing south of the river for a change. <laughs> Barely south is it? Barely. Um, I think we will head up there and maybe we can grab some food and have some dinner. Yes, I've decided that that is what I want to do. <laughs> Planning my day in my head with you guys as we go. Another new makeup find that I have, uh, ooh, which I have to say is a little bit tricky to use, a bit messy, is the Vive Skin Dew. I love this as a highlighter. It's kind of replaced, for me, uh, the Glossier. God, I can't remember what that one was called. It's so funny how I've lost all of this knowledge that I used to have so ready and available to go when I used to make beauty videos. Um, Glossier Nightshine Highlighter. They don't 
make it anymore, I don't think, because they got rid of their glossier play line. But this is so, so lovely. I really, really enjoy the shine that it gives. I'm still using my Freck tint. I kind of have a bit of a crutch with this. I don't feel like my makeup is done without it. I feel kind of naked without it, actually, because I feel like when I don't have little faux freckles, my skin looks too perfect. I know, first world problems, guys. I really don't like the way it looks, and again, this is the whole buying into making my skin look like my skin and not not like it's covered up with anything, which I realise is totally contradictory because I don't I don't really have freckles unless we're at the height of summer. But yes, I have to put that on. If you thought I was going to be able to fill in my brows while I was talking, you were wrong. Um, I have been using this new brow jar, actually. This is from Orford. Really loving what, um, what Tanya, Tanya Vera has done with Orford. Some great, great products. The Tinted Moisturiser, actually, while we're talking about it, is amazing. Really, really good. But I'm really into this brow jar at the moment. I just fill my brows in normally with a pencil and then kind of just very, very lightly add in a little bit of this just to make them look the teensiest bit fluffy. Me and my brows, we've been on a journey. Um, they're always changing. I'm always changing my mind about how I like them to look, but I like this little extra step. I think it's just enough, but not too much. And then in terms of eyeshadow, I have just been, well, I barely wear eyeshadow anymore. I've been using this bronzer, this tiny little sample, which I have from Bobbi Brown, because it's the perfect, well, it's the perfect size actually, but it's also the perfect color. It's just a very light, natural bit of shadow. In terms of most of my makeup, actually, I feel almost overdone. Like I'm wearing too much most of the time. If I put just the slightest little bit extra makeup on, like I put some, I put some eyeliner on yesterday and I just felt so silly. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's because I've, I've now got to a point where I've kind of gone so long without wearing makeup that I'm used to my face. Maybe I'm actually accepting my face for how it is. We've come to that point finally in my life of that level of self-acceptance. Um, or maybe my, my face as it's getting older just doesn't suit as much makeup as it used to. Because I used to wear a lot of makeup. I mean, this used to be a predominantly beauty channel and I, I, God, I wore red lipstick nearly every single day. If I were to put on red lipstick now, I think I would just look like a clown. Um, I actually did wear red lipstick on my birthday and I didn't mind it. I think the key to that is just basically wearing no other makeup. Um, yeah, so literally just a wash of that over my lids, just a little bit, and then curl my lashes and the mascara I'm using at the moment. Back to Glossier we go. Again, I was looking for mascara that just doesn't look like I've got mascara on. I'm, I'm becoming very picky and very <laughs> specific. And this, I, God, even though it is such a natural mascara, I still put it on with a really, really light hand. I want my brows, my brows, my lashes to look fluffy. And again, I feel like the more I put on, they kind of just, I don't know, they look too false. They look too much like I've tried. I feel like that is what this whole thing comes down to. I want to look effortless. <laughs> I feel like this glossy mascara is really good for that. And it's one of the very, very few that I've ever found. It doesn't smudge on me because I have that problem. I have an intensely smudgeable lash line, I guess. And even when I have this on my bottom lashes, it doesn't do that. So we love 10 extra points to Glossier for that. And I've put too much on. I think I just, my lashes are too long. Again, God, first world problems, guys. But I've always had quite long eyelashes and I feel like they just, again, anytime I put mascara on, they just look like I'm wearing full season, that's not what I'm going for. One thing you'll be pleased to know has not changed, and probably never will. Lipstick, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I am using a different colour today, actually. This one is Abu Dhabi. It's a slightly, like a touch more pink than London. London is normally my go-to, as long-time viewers will know. Still have never found something that is as good of a colour for my skin tone, and also, it's, it's the finish and the texture of this. I need to wear a mag, I can't do glossy, and it's so comfortable. It's not one of those liquid lipstick that feels really cakey and heavy and drying. It's just so nice, so, so nice, perfect, love it. There you have it, that is my everyday makeup. I was going to curl my hair, but I feel like I might just leave it as is and maybe tie it up in a bun. I'm a slave to the bun, can't help myself. A nice low bun is all 
all I really do with my hair nowadays. Okay, so this is what I am wearing today. Um, basically just this incredible coat, which is from River Island. I got this yesterday in the post and threw it straight on. Absolutely love it. I'm not really doing it justice standing here because it is super, super long. Um, and it looks a lot like um, a particular coat that I've had my eye on for a long time um, from a brand called Ray. I love that coat and I was fully intending to buy that coat until I saw this. Very, very similar vibes. It's super oversized, super long. I love the big collar detail here and the thing I love about it the most is these cuffs. I love it when coats have these really cool cuffs on them. So I have that on, on top of a very basic outfit really, which you've kind of already seen. This um, little knit, which is from H&M. It's very thin actually. It's kind of not too cold outside today. So I've got the big coat on. Wear something thin underneath, that's my kind of layering method. And then I just have jeans on, some black high-waisted jeans from um, Monkey. Bag is from Studio 94. Um, and yeah, I'm also wearing Converse on my feet, which you would have seen me put on. Coming to you to sign up this vlog uh, from my bed because there is no other place for me. I got home, I sat down, and as it as it goes, I will not be heading up again probably. Uh, this is me for the night. <laughs> we actually got back a lot later than I had planned to, and uh, I have editing to do, I have sleeping to do, <laughs> and I have an, an episode of MasterChef to watch. So. Not sure which one of those I'm going to prioritise highest, but Master Chef is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> Me and Joe have some very specific bedtime shows, and Master Chef, uh, Master Chef the Professionals, is one of them. Not sure why, but it's just so good to watch right before bed. <laughs> Normally, we would be putting on something like um, Binging with Babish on YouTube or Emmy Makes. Joe's really into Food Wars as well at the moment, where they compare the UK and the US. Uh, all food based, honestly, it's, 
it's what we live our lives for, isn't it? So I was gonna come back and show you what I got while I was out, but I'm pretty sure you saw it all. I got a hat from our cat, which was a very good hat, actually. I also did pick up that um, darker shade in the Chanel foundation, or the Chanel base product that I was after, that I was talking about earlier. I ended up going for the medium in the end. I went two shades up instead of one because the sales assistant sold me on it. She said I could just mix in my lighter one if it's too dark, which made a lot of sense. So I said yes. <laughs> so I got that and yeah, that was it. Joe met me after work and we went to the food market. I'm basically just recounting everything I think you will have just seen in a nice Christmassy montage, but um, why not? I feel like I haven't really spoken to you guys much today. It's been a very quick day to day. Everything seems to have passed by at an increasingly rapid speed. Well, hello. And just like that, she's gone again. <laughs> you settling in for bed? Okay. And yeah, we just went to the food market after that. Um, I have to say the South Bank food market is not quite uh, how I remembered it. I am sure there used to be a second part where you would go down some steps and there was a huge, um, like a huge area of food trucks and stalls. But that seems to be kind of like gated now and closed off and it's um, like a ticketed venue and you have to queue to get in. So there were basically just those like seven or eight little huts um, and that was it. So yeah, not as exciting as I was expecting or remembering it to be. But the food we had was so good. I had a duck, um, a vegan duck burger, which was amazing. If you like the um, mock duck and pang you get at Chinese restaurants, it was very similar to that. And uh, Joe had a truffle burger, which smelled really good and tasted really good. Although it was made with the Beyond Meat um, patties, and I'm not the biggest fan of Beyond Meat. I'm not sure why, it seems to be like the number one fake meat substitute, <laughs> but it's, it's not really my favorite. It was a good burger though, uh, and we got waffles, I had some eggnog, my first eggnog of the year. Oh hi, everyone's coming to say hello. I've just been talking about how I want to watch MasterChef, if you're game. Always. <laughs> Always. Always. Our favourite bedtime watch. Joe is desperate, desperate to watch Succession, we just haven't got the time. Not enough time for success. We need a solid 10 hours of free time and we, it's not available to us right now. Barely got one hour. <laughs> Barely got 30 minutes. Okay, I'm going to sign this log off now, guys, before it gets too intense. Um, I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I will see you again tomorrow. <laughs> they give these small paws. Just like that.